Hey filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central and today we're going to create fusion titles and save them as a template for use in other projects. And one particular aspect of this is we're going to add a graphic because somebody asked for it. So let's get to it when we come right back. Okay, so we're gonna go into Fusion. We're gonna create a title and save it as a macro and then be able to load that into our edit page. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I hope that you're gonna like this. It's, I do it all the time. So <laughs> um, there is, I'm gonna say, uh, some quirks with Resolve 17. And that's what I'm running now because I have a MacBook Pro M1 and it needs version 17.1. So it's it's a little funky, but hopefully we'll get through it and uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll get everything squared away. So we're on our edit page. We're gonna open up our effects library, find effects, take a fusion composition and drop it onto our timeline. Make sure it's selected and go into fusion. All right, this is our media out. So if we go back to the timeline, whatever is going into this node will be displayed. All right, so we're gonna do some, some simple stuff here. And another little quirky thing is I'm on a dual monitor. So when I hit shift space to bring up my tool selector, it goes on to a different window, which is kind of annoying. So we're gonna have our text and I'm gonna hit F2 and change this to top text and I'm gonna have that selected. I'm just gonna go over here and hit text plus. It'll automatically merge those two together. I'm gonna hit F2 and change this to bottom text. All right, so far so good. And I'm gonna hit two so we can see what this looks like. Ah, there's nothing there. That's right, because we haven't added any text yet. So bottom, uh, this is our top text, top text, and we'll go to the bottom and hit bottom text. And of course they're on top of each other. So we'll do a little bit of alignment here and we're gonna make the bottom one quite a bit smaller, line these up and we're gonna move them, yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and move them into, we'll make it kind of a lower thirds type banner here. All right, so far so good. And now we're gonna put a box around this. So I'm gonna come back to my nodes here and I'm gonna use a shape 3D that's an image plane, wrong one. Well, I'm gonna hit shift space and go to shape. That's gonna give me a little box to work with, as you can see over here. And from here, we're gonna take that into a, again, kind of annoying, a render 3D. And that way we can kind of see what we're working with. Select my shape, come over here. I'm gonna uncheck lock height and width. So I'm gonna make the width a little bit bigger. The height is gonna come down some. And I'll put this into the position that I want. Come over here to materials. I'll change the color to a nice dark blue and change the opacity on it a little bit so it's a little see-through. All right, so far so good. From the render node, I'm gonna hit shift space, bring up my tool palette, go to merge. All right, so now I have the nodes that make up the shape and the nodes that make up the box. So I can just connect these two together here go over to number two, so it shows up over in the screen. And now I can go ahead and 
do a little bit of alignment here to get things exactly where I want it. And I'll move the text over. All right, so far so good. And now we need to bring in our image. I have this little Jeep drawing over here. And when I drop it in place, it's gonna create a media in. So I'm gonna rename that to image. And from here, I'm gonna do another merge node. Great, so far so good. And I need to go from this merge node to that merge node, from this merge node to this merge node, from that merge node to media out. All right, whoa, something's not quite right. <laughs> we have this huge image on here. Not exactly what we're looking for. So we need the ability to change the shape and position of that graphic. So with image selected, we hit shift space so that my little toolbox pops up and I'm gonna type in transform. Awesome, so now on the transform node, this is where I can do things like change the shape and reposition it. So far so good. I'll try and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, not bad. I'll just change a few things here to get things kind of lined up the way I want them to. I'll take that shape and go over to my controls. I'll make that width bigger and pull it out. Give us some breathing room there. All right, we have a title. So far, so good. And if I go over to my edit page, you can see the title shows up really nice, works perfectly. And it, it'll do a little rendering here so that it'll play back smooth. It's not, it's not animated, which we certainly could do, but right now we're just trying to get some basics going here. Now, to make this a title that we can use on the edit page, we need to create a macro. So I'm gonna select the items that I want, not the media out, just the items that make up the whole um, composition here. And I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna to go to macro and create macro. Now, this ugly box comes up with all these different settings. And I'm gonna start closing these up so you can see it. We have all the different nodes here, our bottom text, our top text, our image, our shape, or the transform, but let's just do some basics to get started. We'll go on the top text. It starts opening up all the properties here, and we just want some basics. It's styled text, font, the style, color, green, blue, and the size, and maybe line spacing, and then we wanna be able to center it so we can reposition it as need be. And I think uh, I think that'll do for right now. We'll close that, go to our bottom text. Again, close a couple of these things, add our styled text, font, style, color, green, blue, size, line spacing. Over here, we'll do our center. And that should be, you know, good to go there. Now we can make the transforms, we can add some animation, we can do all kinds of stuff, but we're just gonna try and do a basic title here right now. Save changes, yes. Okay, now it's gonna bring up a box of where to save it. Now I'm on a Mac, so I can tell you exactly where to go, but it's also in the manual. So right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go up one, so I'm on the Fusion, if we look here, uh, Users, K Garrison, Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion. And on this right here, we're gonna go to Templates, Edit, Titles, and I'm gonna change this from Macro Tool 1 to, this is for my uh, Trail Traveler channel, so this will be Trail Traveler, Traveler, two line 
Yeah, that's what we'll call it. And we'll hit save. Okay, well, we're not done yet. So next, DaVinci Resolve has to reload that title. So you actually have to quit Resolve and relaunch it. So we'll come over here. I'll just kind of click over to my edit page and I'll quit. I'll wait for it to completely quit out. I'll relaunch it. And give me a second to reopen up my project. And there's the project. Go to a new space over here and we will go to our titles. We scroll down in our titles and we should find our Trail Traveler 2 line. So I'm going to go on there, select it, and look at this. So my top text, I'll put Carrie Garrison, which is a little big. So we can adjust the size. We can change the centering. I go to my bottom text. Trail Traveler. Yeah, that actually lined up pretty good. So now I have a reusable title with a graphic in it. So I can use this over and over again and I can change the text whenever I want. I could also do all kinds of other things. I could use a bender and give it a shape to it. I could allow you to change the color of the box. I could do all kinds of things to manipulate this once it's a, a title. So really cool stuff here, I think, and super, super handy for creating reusable pieces of content like titles. So hope that you enjoyed it. Hope this was uh, pretty educational and that it answered some questions that people had about how to create their own Fusion title templates and save them for use in other projects. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.